Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian MV Strong Style, Cinephile, one half of the reigning defending MPW Tag Team Champions, of course. And the Marvel news was coming fast and furious today as we got a trailer for the next season of What If. We got a trailer for Sony's Madam Web, which doesn't look super terrible. It looks actually kind of interesting to me. I know there's a whole bunch of negativity online about it and the fact that it's like the core main cast is like a bunch of like women. So that's a whole, you know, thing or whatever. But then we got some late afternoon breaking news that Pedro Pascal is in talks for Reed Richards in Matt Shackman's Fantastic Four movie. And I wanted to touch on that first. We'll still come around to the other stuff. Still got to talk about the sequel to the Samaritan, which is coming, as well as some He-Man stuff. So I got a lot of stuff to catch up on, but I wanted to touch on this first because Fantastic Four is my favorite comic book. So let us geek about that for a scant few minutes. And I say um, it, it, there's some conflicting stuff rumors or, or news going on. You have some outlets saying that it's a done deal. You have some outlets like uh, Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, saying that he's in talks and it's a matter of scheduling to get worked out, to really finalize things. So we're kind of, uh, things are up in the air at the moment. But on the casting itself, I like Pedro Pascal as an actor. Of course, he was in The Last of Us, he's in The Mandalorian. A lot of people are kind of joking that they expect Franklin and Val, or at least Franklin, to be in the movie because you don't cast Pedro Pascal if he's not going to be like a fatherly type of figure. And also, kind of looking at his age, I mean, he's no spring chicken, but I know like Reed is kind of, um, he's not super old, but he is a bit older than Sue in the comics, so it would kind of lend itself to Pedro Pascal's casting. You got to think, you got to, like, whenever you're looking at an actor for one of these movies, you got to think you know, anywhere from like seven to 10 years out of them playing the character. So got to factor that into things as far as like their age and that sort of thing. But um, just looking at the stuff Pedro Pascal has been in, like I said, Mandalorian, Last of Us, he was in Equalizer 2. And just, I think he's got range enough to be Reed. Uh, I'm totally fine um, with this casting. I know, um, before, Matt Shackman, the director, was kind of talking, you know, waxing poetic about the script and how even during the strikes, the writer strike as well as the actor strike, they were still kind of doing pre-production work on the movie and kind of building up the, the sets and visual design type of stuff and the world that they're going to inhabit. And he had said once um, the writer strike um, was over and they could get back to work on it in earnest from a writing standpoint. He expected once the actors strike was over that casting news would kind of come fast and furious. Um, so could this be the, the sign of things to come? I know there's some rumors out there on who's going to be Sue in the movie. I'm really curious to find out who, who who's going to fill out the rest of the cast as well as who is going to be Dr. Doom. Because you know he's coming. I really want them to slow burn Dr. Doom. And maybe because there's all this consternation about Jonathan Majors and how Kang was going to be a big part of the movies going forward, and they're maybe looking for a substitute or somebody else to pivot to. You slow roll Doctor Doom, maybe not as long, you don't want to take 10 years like you did Thanos, but you slow roll Doctor Doom and make him the big bad of the MCU going forth. I can see that happening. Or you can have him as like the precursor to Galactus. I think those are like the two kind of big threats that could bring everybody together for another event round of you know an avengers movie avengers plus fantastic four plus x-men who knows at that point um but that's where we are pedro pascal is cast or he's in talks one of the two but his name is swirling around as fan as mr fantastic i'm here for it i'm curious to see what the rest of the cast is going to look like um and when we'll find out exactly who, uh who else is going to be in the movie? As well as, are they going to have Franklin? Are they going to have Valerie? Just when is the story going to take place? Is it going to take place now? Is it going to take place back then? And maybe they get sucked into the negative zone, and then they, like, in the 60s, and then they come out in, like, the, you know, 2000s. Is that going to be a thing? Kind of where is it going to fall on the timeline? I'm really curious to see that. Are we going to get, like, a straight origin story? I hope not. I hope not going to get a beat-for-beat beat origin story. I think, I hope that they'll already be established. Maybe a couple quick, not, like, total first act taking up flashbacks. 
of their origin, but just like a quick little, you know, five minute thing, or even how they did um, uh, Ed, Ed, um, Edward Norton's Hulk, where in the opening titles, you just saw the story play out about like, and we were caught up if they do something like that for the Fantasy Four, Ball Fort. Um, like I said, it's my favorite comic book. Thing is my favorite Marvel Comics hero. I'm hoping to get a tattoo of him very, very soon. So I'm here for it and here for what comes next. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Scattered as they often are. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Until next time, let us kick.